very good morning to all. Um, the title which I'm going to be presenting today is a wavelet neural networks model for time series. So this paper is basically a research whereby a comparison, a hybrid model for um, giving solutions for time series is being presented. And the paper is composed by myself, Arshad Chama. Uh, in collaboration with uh, Dr. Marvin Martin Abu Ashur and Dr. Rabat Kalehan Kampas Helmi and Mr. Sim Liu Kwan. So let me quickly introduce you guys to what basically the paper is going to be. Um, we know that uh, both the uh, artificial neural network and the wave that transforms have accumulatively gained the attention of the researchers around the world during the past few years for solving any time series problems. So they are being applied in research areas uh, for predicting things and you know, they have been used, extensively used for prediction and classification of time series and other relevant statistical solutions and techniques were eventually used. ANN are used to solve various types of statistical analysis and techniques as well as uh, various applied techniques. The diversity in the applications clearly shows its reflection in numerous types of neural network within their application in solving the problem. Basically, artificial neural network is heavily applied in time theories which requires a complete, precise, most um, mapping of relationships between inputs and outputs. While classical time series forecasting requires the use of a predefined model, artificial neural network requires large amount of exogenous data. The wavelet neural network, which is WNN, is a type of neural network that employs the wavelet function as processing in its transfer function. Thus, uh, while we are trying to apply the WMN and phase forecasting, the input used is the wavelet coefficient in certain time and situation. Forecasting in time series uh, happens to be a common problem, and the artificial neural modeling is the single most important step in neural networks like phase forecasting because they can give a very accurate predictions and basically uh, the current solution which is designed which is uh, the approach of hybrid model is trying to test the data and show the possible accuracy of the data in the forecasting. So this particular research is aimed to resolve the mentioned problem whereby this research suggests that use of decomposed data technicalities uh, to identify the neural network inputs. A hybrid model that joins together the data transport with artificial neural, neural network for time series forecasting is created using a methodology which is proposed and will be discussed here again. The new suggested model is applied to uh, some data. The data is the Asian food oil production, which is ranging from 1980s to 2012, which is about 32 years, for validating the results. So, the methodology for the proposed model it states that uh, we take the time series, uh, which is represented by YT, and then we decompose it into the wavelet components. Uh, wavelet various variants. Uh, are used as inputs for the artificial neural network and then the hybrid style network architecture is applied to get the final output. The paper aims to achieve time series forecasting using the wavelet neural network model. So firstly the time series is reduced into a collection of wavelet sub-series through discrete wavelet transform which uh, was evident in the previous slide. So we are basically uh, finding out the different wave components. Then the neural network model is constructed using the wavelet subseries, uh, which is generated as the input, and the original time series is the output. 
Lastly, the efficiency of the WLM model forecast is measured against a classical artificial model network forecast using the RGO model for input identification. This research is significant because uh, it, uh, the research lays in the study of the quality. The suggestion of a hybrid approach is thus determining the artificial model network inputs by deep inputs behavior. Moreover, the use of artificial neural network as an alternative for the classical models or classical methods is used in solving different types of models, regardless they are linear, semi-linear, or they do not have a linear structure. In order to validate, uh, the proposed model is more efficient in processing time series. Uh, what uh, was done is the classical first, the classical model was used on the data set and then the proposed model was used on the same selected data set. Uh, a comparison was done on the results from both the uh, tests and in terms of uh, efficiency and compatibility of this type series. To measure the accuracy and compare the methods, uh, three criteria were adopted. Uh, mean squared error, which is NLC, followed by the RMSD, and then uh, mean absolute percentage error was calculated to get the accuracy level. Data which has been used in this aspect is representing the time series for the production of crude oil for the Asian subcontinent for the period 1980-2012 which has been the, uh, shown in this particular graph. So, with respect to the proposed model, the artificial neural network uh, consisted of three layers. The first layer contains one node which is representing the time series crude oil uh, to Asia. Uh, represented by YT. The output layer contains one node representing the time series line is 1 degree, which is YT minus 1, and the hidden layer contains 25 different nodes. Uh, MATLAB was used for simulation. The MATLAB based software was used to extract the results of the classical and proposed methods in this paper. The Hopfield network is uh, representative of other artificial neural networks, which are among the most important, best and most popular type of uh, ADN. And these are adopted for processing of the time series, prediction analysis and data classification. The architecture of this time series network in question consists of the hidden layer. As we informed earlier that there were 25 nodes in one layer. The output layer, the number of nodes in this layer is 1 node represented by the component yt and then the input layer is determined according to the traditional method and the agency rate. Thus the sample was run on a classical model. The neural network input represents the lag one of this series which is xt minus 1. The result of the optimal network valuation of the time series and the consideration is being depicted on the right hand side of this particular slide. Then it was again rerun on the proposed hybrid model. The results of the proposed hybrid hybrid uh, method evaluation of the time series and the consideration is shown in this particular figure which shows that there is a significant improvement in terms of forecasted performance. If you Notice that in the previous one, in the classical model, we have values which are scattered around the line, whereby um, the output in the um, proposed hybrid model is quite fitting with the blue line. So in terms of analysis, the results of the evaluating the two methods in this research were done and various outputs were calculated based on MSE, RMC and MPE. It is clearly depicted that the best way to give the least possible near zero error is the hybrid model where we were able to reach uh, uh, error for 
0.0004043 as shown by this result the classical method for partition neural network is very good and the wave value is all as far is 0.17 so in terms of the improvement of the hybrid model also the considerable improvement is done in the giving in the most accurate and values which is very close to zero so as a conclusion i would like to say that results of the measurement of the efficiency and accuracy uh, which i showed here uh, in the hybrid model is the best model for this time series also it enjoys the efficiency quality and high accuracy that exceeds the classical model where the determination of artificial neural network it puts through the wavelet function using the decomposition method enable the neural network to utilize the methodology optimally which in turn was reflected in the accuracy of the results secondly the hybrid model which combines waveform and artificial neural network uh, contributes to improving the output of any type of artificial neural network whether it is back to provision or micro networks radio based network or any kind of the network and significantly where the modified method improved the efficiency by 99.2 percent lastly it is recommended that the hybrid model be adopted in time series processing especially in case of the non-linear or semi-linear behavior to obtain desired results with a very high quality and consistency the results response to similar research done by the research team in order to evaluate the efficiency of artificial neural network in proposing different cases which comes as part of the effort to promote ANN as a valid and efficient replacement towards the classical models. That's it. Thank you very much.